Hello, dear students. In the previous lecture, we were discussed about electric double layer formation at an electrode. Now, in the next lecture, we are going to see how current electric current is generated at an electrode. When a metal is dipped into its solution, either deposition or dissolution starts depending on the concentration of metal ion in electrode and in solution. If dissolution occurs, metal oxidizes to metal ions and electrons. The generated electrons leads to charge formation. For this anodic reaction or oxidation reaction or dissolution reaction, the current generated or the charge per unit time generated is I am giving capital IA which is known as anodic current. Similarly for the reduction process or deposition process a process the current generated is cathodic current IC. Note that this is not for a complete cell. We are only considering a half cell for which oxidation and reduction occurring when metal and solution in contact. When we divide the currents by the area of a metal surface, we will get current density. So we have an anodic current density and a cathodic current density. You can see in this picture the anodic current density and the cathodic current density. Here I am giving a negative sign to IC. It only represents that IC is opposite to IE. That is, it is not the magnitude, only direction, only to specify direction. I am giving the sign, giving the negative sign. Consider the reaction. The same reaction we have discussed in the previous slide. For this reaction, the cathodic current density I C is the rate of deposition per unit area and I A rate of dissolution of metal per unit area. Since they are taking place at a particular temperature and pressure and we are not changing its concentration. The two processes attain equilibrium at a particular time. That is, the rate of formation of a metal ion is become equal to the rate of deposition of metal. In the graph of current density against time, IZ, if IZ is the cathodic current, IA is its opposite current and it reaches at a same value at a particular time if we do not disturb the solution by changing its temperature, pressure or concentration. In this particular graph, I have given that the deposition reaction is starting first because of course metal ion concentration would be greater and after some time the dissolution starts and anionic current increases. It may change whatever it is, it will attain the same rate as the time passes and give 
a constant current this particular constant value is known as i0 which is the exchange current density that is i0 obtains when the rate of deposition and the rate of dissolution become equal so the exchange current density is the unique situation at a particular temperature and pressure on a metal surface for that particular half cell reaction it is a major kinetic parameter which determines the rate of electrode process again i am reminding you that this is for a single electrode system not for a complete cell there are different factors which influence the exchange current density first factor is the type of metal here you can see a complete cell reaction where zinc atas anode and the standard hydrogen electrode is the cathodic part it consists of two half cell reactions this is the oxidation reaction and this is the reduction reaction that is for the two half cell reactions we have two corresponding i0 values i0 of zinc and i0 of hydrogen in this half cell reaction or the anode reaction anodic part zinc is used as the electrode sir electrode but for the second half cell we were used platinum we all know in the standard hydrogen electrode we are using platinum electrode why we are not using zinc or nickel or iron how should we choose the best metal surface here is the significance of exchange current density those metals which can be able to make fast equilibrium of redox reaction will be the best electrode surface for this reaction the exchange current density of platinum is shown to be 10 raised to minus 2 to 10 raised to minus 3 ampere per centimeter square which is very higher compared to exchange current density on zinc surface that is in the range 10 raised to minus 11 and iron or nickel for the particular cathode process that is this platinum acquires an early equilibrium and produce a higher exchange density how it establishes an early equilibrium when a metal is dipped into its solution the deposition and dissolution starts as i said earlier and there may be two processes if i am taking here acid solution sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid or the here there's h plus ion formation uh, ion solution and i'm dipping a metal into it the first process starting should be the reduction process since there is more concentration of h plus ions in the solution and not in the surface after some time the cathodic rate the reduction process diminishes and the dissolution reaction starts with rate 2 it is represented in this graph at equilibrium 
both attain the same rate and we will get an exchange current density at time t1. When I am using platinum or a metal which can produce early equilibrium, the equilibrium attains more fast. You can see as the cathodic reaction starts, suddenly the anodic reaction starts and attain a fast equilibrium and will get an exchange current density higher than metal 1. This happens for platinum when compared with other metals. So, we are using platinum metals in the metal in the standard hydrogen electrode. If we can, can produce this difference, that will be the best metal. When this, this platinum has also an advantage that when it is connected to another electrode, surely its equilibrium will disturb. But it established the equilibrium quickly. Those have those electrodes which can able to re-establish a quick equilibrium be the best electrode surface. So by this the type of metal influences exchange current density. The next, next factor is the morphology of metal surface or it's merely the composition of metal surface. That is, I can explain with an example. When we use platinized platinum in place of platinum, its I0 become large. We are always using platinized platinum in SHG also to produce a best result. This platinized platinum means platinum electrode is further plated with platinum which makes its surface more rough and also increases the surface area. It leads to much higher reaction rate and hence I0 increases further. Other factors which are environment factor that is in different areas, for example, in seashore areas and in hilltop. Even we are using the same ionic concentration, there should be a change in attaining equilibrium so that I0 can be, can be, it would be uh, changed. Temperature also uh, affecting, as you uh, are all aware that always temperature and rate of reaction are closely related and the solution concentration also affect the uh, exchange current density it also uh, that is it's, it's necessary also we are maintaining uh, the concentration as one molar in the acid we are maintaining it as one molar concentration 